What if we could live in a world? What if we could learn from machines to be better humans, to cooperate better, to negotiate better, to distribute resources more equitably? Think of a world, perhaps generations from now, where machines have a sense of ethics and morals and have been taught that cooperation is better than competition. Could we learn from them? I believe that this is possible through the development of AI for good technologies that are built on rules and ethics that focus on cooperation that maximizes benefits for all of us. Today I'm going to talk about how artificial intelligence is accelerating inequality and how it's impacting geopolitics, but also how we can learn from these machines to better cooperate and perhaps even solve humanity's greatest problem, inequality. As a consultant working with large multinationals, I had a front row seat to how capitalism works. I saw big pharma companies prioritize profits over patients. I saw large tobacco companies make unfair deals with their farmers. That's why I believe the biggest problem we have is our current economic system begets inequality. And it's only going to be accelerated with the increase in artificial intelligence. As these systems come to replace human tasks and human workers. The real problem, as I see it, is these technologies are going to be developed at breakneck speeds within this capitalistic system. So we are going to get market-driven results. AI is mostly proprietary. And companies developing this tech will have a mandate to get a return on this investment. This means that AI is going to create more wealth for those who have invested. And the products are only going to be available to those who can afford them. Under this system, AI is going to create more inequality almost certainly. Think about Uber and Grab as they replace their drivers with autonomous vehicles. Or think about Amazon as it automates its delivery systems. Or large banks as they completely replace their workers and issue huge loans with no human involvement whatsoever. This is going to have a huge impact on our society. And it's going to concentrate wealth in the hands of those at the top and put a lot of people out of work. So, inequality is certainly having a big impact on the world today. I think everyone here can probably relate or know someone suffering from the effects of inequality. Like chronic stress, learned helplessness, displacement aggression. Scott Santens thinks this is making us violently turn on each other as a means of coping. Well, this is kind of like rats in a cage when one is shocked and it runs over and bites another rat just to relieve its stress. This is not a recipe for success. This is a recipe for disaster. So, what can be done? Well, Walter Schieder believes that historically economic inequalities are, can only be reduced through war, revolution, and natural disasters. I don't know about you, but the idea of plunging ourselves into a war or waiting around for a natural disaster doesn't seem too attractive to me. I believe that although artificial intelligence is undoubtedly going to make the situation worse in the short term, it is also going to make it better in the long run. So, what if we could learn to not always compete like we were playing some zero-sum game, but instead to cooperate without bias, prejudice, or nationalism? Could we learn this from machines? I believe the answer is in cooperation. Researchers at DeepMind are doing some very exciting work right now. They have developed an algorithm that they call S-slash. They employ machines working with humans 
in two-player games. And more often than not, these machines did a better job of finding compromises that benefited both sides. So essentially, this algorithm is learning that moral characteristics are good, and it's programmed not to lie. And once it finds those cooperations, it continues. This example shows how we can build artificial intelligence with people and machines at levels that rival human cooperation. This is about AI for good technologies, which is not just an ideal, it's not just a concept. It's about building actual technologies and products with ethics and morals built right into their designs. At Johnny5 AI, we are teaching our agents the rules of cooperation and protocols to make long-term cooperations and agreements. Think about the augmented doctor who has to rely on his expert artificial intelligence systems to make ethical choices about his patients. Or think about the autonomous vehicle that has to make split-second life and death decisions. And what if we get it wrong? Well, you only have to look at Amazon, how they accidentally invented a sexist hiring algorithm because it was based on 50 years of historical data. We must not teach these machines our cultural biases. We have to teach them ethics and morality, not just for where we are today, but for where we are going. But can we actually learn from machines? Well, take this example of AlphaGo. AlphaGo was originally created to compete against humans. And when it beat Lisa Dole, the world's champion, the world was shocked because, as we know, Go is one of the most complex games for a machine to learn. But what happened later is they released about 55 games that AlphaGo played against its itself. And these games were teaching masters and pro Go players new strategies that they called alien. And now, Go is advancing in ways that it hasn't for a thousand years. So what if machines could teach us to cooperate? Could we eventually learn from them too? The economics are clear. Inequality is accelerating. Unemployment is certain, at least structurally. Lower workforce will mean lower taxes. And in my opinion, this is going to mean a redistribution of wealth. If, and a big if, we could get people to agree that we need a redistribution of wealth, it might be feasible for countries like China and the United States, because these countries are investing heavily in artificial intelligence technologies through their companies like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Amazon, Baidu, Alibaba, and Tencent. These companies are making huge investments in artificial intelligence and moving into other countries' markets, essentially owning those markets. Kai-Fu Li, the ex-head of Google in China, wrote about this and says, as it seems now, American businesses will dominate in developed markets and some developing markets. And China, Chinese companies, will most certainly win in developing markets. So the United States and China are essentially carving up the world. This is going to have a profound effect on geopolitics. But what about developing countries, like here in Indonesia? They're going to need to move fast or they're going to lose out. They may be forced to become slave or dependents of the countries that supply them with these AI technologies. Lee writes, unless they wish to plunge their people into poverty, they're going to be forced to negotiate with whatever country supplies them with their AI software, which is likely going to be China or the United States. Artificial intelligence is going to have a big impact on our world in terms of inequality and in terms of geopolitics. 
And these technologies are going to keep advancing for generations to come. So it is very important that we develop them with a sense of justice, morality, and ethics. I want you to think again of a world. A world where we understand the mathematics of cooperation and teach machines to develop skills that interact and make better deals. I want you to think again of a world where agents working with humans manage resources better, like food and food waste and commodities. I want you again to think of a world where inequality is solved with machines and humans working in partnership to benefit all of humanity. Now is the opportunity to rewrite the rules and train these AI agents to be just, moral, and fair, and perhaps even be our teachers. So, can machines teach us how to be better humans? Are they going to be the problem or the solution? The choice is ours. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Super yeah, I know it's heavy stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> can machines teach us to be ahead of humans? I'm trying to get a grasp of the effect of how do we teach machines to be morals and ethics? Yeah, I well, mean, it's actually built in. So at Johnny5 AI, we're actually teaching cooperation through our agent-to-agent -agent models. So we're teaching them how to negotiate deals that maximizes net benefit for the entire group. So this is a small piece that we're doing, but hopefully this technology can be uh, advanced. And when it's advanced, we can see you know, the potential for it. So right now, maybe it's maximizing for a small group of other agents. But then later, it can be applied to, say, a town or uh, even a nation. Yeah. Wow. It's exciting Amazing. stuff. Amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> OK, can we give a round of applause for Jesse one more time, guys? Thank you.